So we're back on our campaign and things are looking up now. We finally got our independence from Denmark and uh, snagged a few nearby provinces. Our economy is looking good. The military is looking better. We're still recuperating a bit. But what I've done is uh, I've uh, renamed uh, some of my ships after people who've uh, subscribed to my channel. Well, I just thought that would be a reasonable theme. And we're looking to uh, build up uh, our manpower again before we make some more some more moves. And our economy, of course. To get this started. Ooh. I often find that when you load a save game, you suddenly get lots more uh, offers. Brandenburg probably aren't powerful enough to help us, though, to be honest. Now, our fleet's, uh, one sh I think, one short of the supply limit. Uh, so, yeah. We can have another ship, and we can have another army unit. Are we already building one? Oh, we are. Okay, so we'll save up for another ship. Yeah. So maybe I'll put out a recruitment uh, drive for people who want to have their names for our warships. We shall see. Maybe I'll put out a, a video just asking people for, uh, for warship names or just uh, put themselves forward to be part of the Royal Swedish Navy. Pretty decent fleet. Everything's still really basic ships, of course. Well, we still got our flagship, the first carrack we built. It costs quite a lot, actually. 0.48 ducats a month to keep at sea. Hmm. Still, we probably do need them. I think we'll build... Uh, probably build another galley. We still need to secure ourselves, really, before we can venture out. So I have the Conquest of Paradise uh, expansion, but... To get the sort of trade range we need, we we'll probably need to get up to. Uh, well, we'll definitely need the overseas uh, exploration to give us colonial range. Probably need to colonise Norway, Norway, Iceland rather, from Norway. Because then we'll be able to reach the Americas, which are over here somewhere. It's interesting that you can choose to have uh, the New World be completely like uh, randomly generated up for you, but I'm just going with the normal New World. You can see we're starting to discover knowledge of places further away. Gradually the stuff can filter to you without any uh, explorers, but it'd be good to be able to do some exploring myself. I never got around to using explorers in the original uh, oh, the original Europa, well Europa 3, which is the first one I played. So nowhere near the original. The focus on free trade much because they're not getting the support they need. No, we support free trade. Well, that's going to be bad for our trade, but still. I want to encourage free trade. After all, isn't that what imperialism is all about? Is this not already a core? Yeah. Strange that it notifies you that it will be harder to get a core when uh, it already is one. I guess we could order a bark. So the choice between a bark and a cog is quite a tricky one. Because uh, the galley, oh sorry, not a bark and a cog, a bark and a galley. Because the galley is actually better in the Baltic, but the bark will actually be better at crossing the sea, if I recall correctly. Apparently, it improves our trade opportunities as well, so it's pretty handy. So I think we'll build another bark. Our fleet's a lot stronger than Denmark's, even if our army isn't. Uh, isn't that fantastic? If you look at the world situation, things are fairly tame. As far as we can see, it's a bit of a war going on between Scotland and England, stereotypically. I expect Great Britain will be formed eventually. Oh. Noise fabricated a claim. There's a civil war in the territory of the Mamluks, which is like Egypt. Who knows if that's of any significance or not. Legitimacy, legitimacy is slowly climbing. You can see we've got a special Swedish bonus. Uh, the Kung Och Riksdag, or however you pronounce that. Yeah, things are looking pretty good. Did we bring down our military spending? Yeah, we did. So that at least makes everyone cheaper. We'll probably need to invest in some more money-making buildings, actually. 
replace that advisor. So we can't build any buildings for the moment, but at least it keeps our military tech going up, because I think we're quite close. It must be. Oh no. Actually not that close. It's pretty expensive. I guess it's already level eight. Whereas the other one's seven. Improves our land morale, our supply limit, and our maneuver. I'm sure these improves our. This one improves our colonial range, diplomatic. We only get a small boost for the next one. Well, we're at level nine. Oh. Still working on converting Neva to the true faith. some sort of idea though. So we could get the exploration one. Or should we be saving for we get a workshop which could be useful. Yeah maybe we should save for the Minister of Tech for now. Much as I want to get the colonialism going. We need to secure our, our uh, home island first. Well not a home island but Scandinavia. Thing is that if we control the strait it is essentially an island. Uh, provided we can deal with Moscovy actually just a quite a big army quite near us. Could end up being a problem. Yeah, we'll have to think about how we're going to deal with Moscovy's forces. They're busy wiping out uh, the Volgrod at the moment. But in time they'll come to uh, take us on. Oh yeah, Cardinal again. It's only just invest in the youngest one. We're, we're way off uh, influencing him at the moment. So currently army is equal to that of Norway. Well, I guess we have our mercs as well, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Well, the mercs are here because having them there reduces the risk of rebellion a bit, and I'm not sure if the missionary gets killed if there's a rebellion there while he's working. Did in the old games, I think. So yeah, you can see that Portugal probably own all these, th all the coast here of uh, Africa, which I think is reasonably uh, accurate. They did own a lot of, uh, a lot of African uh, coastal regions at the time. And also getting into Morocco, so Portugal again gained strength. But problem is their homeland's heavily threatened by one of the big blob nations, Castile, which later probably becomes Spain, provided they can take over Aragon. So this this is like uh, you know the Catalans you know like the people who want separatism from uh, uh, want separatism they want to set they want to separate they want to secede from uh, Spain and from uh, Catalonia that's essentially what Aragon is well let's actually build that improvement I was being too distracted thinking about that. Actually, the temple gives us a fixed in increase, which is quite nice. But I feel like these problems are actually quite quite endangered. So we'll just pop it somewhere a bit safer. We're just taking up a bit. We could make a move on on Denmark, depending on who they have as allies. They have Norway, Brunswick, and Utrecht. Isn't that much, so we could probably uh, take the opportunity to take on Denmark, I think. You can see who who are our allies actually. Oops. How do I see my own diplomacy? My rivals are Norway, Gotland and Denmark. I'm allied with Lithuania and the Livonian order. Should I ask the Hansa for an alliance? They seem relatively strong. And I have Lithuania as an ally, I think. Yeah. So we can call our willing allies to war with the, with the Danes, I think. So what we'll need is, we'll need to put our military spending back up. We 
probably want to wait for that to finish actually. When does that finish? 14.99, that's ages away. Maybe we don't want to wait for that to finish. Yeah, maybe we don't want to do this war right now. Probably have to wait for that to be honest. Problematic. Be a good time to make a move. But. And we have too many diplomatic arrangements. I guess we can cancel our royal marriage with Brandenburg. We have no diplomat. We have to wait for a diplomat to come back, I guess. And we'll cancel that. Because we don't really want Brandenburg as ally. We just need that to boost our legitimacy at that point where things weren't looking that good. Okay, so we'll cancel that. Did we hit to our stability? Maybe that was a mistake. Always forget where everything is. Oh, I guess that puts us back on, back down on tech. Yeah, <laughs> fantastic. Oh well. I have to think about getting administrative tech up at some point. We try and improve relations with Lithuania, Livonia. Might as well. Okay, as long as we have allies with alliances with Lithuania and Livonia in order, we can probably hold off Moscow behind us. The Volgod's just been wiped out. Norway might be our next target. nice to retake this land off Denmark as well. But I think this time might be warring with uh, Norway. We have claims, lots of claims I think, which we can uh, attempt to, to use. Well, our diplomats are busy at the moment anyway, so we'll just speed things up. Yeah, we can build another improvement. In Lapland. Slowly getting there with Neva. And then we'll be able to pull that army back, which will allow us to actually be able to take on this Norwegian force. Production research flawed. The mutations in our production are rumored to be flawed, and several leading nobles argue that we should discard them and go back to the old tried and tested methods. We'll just go ignore them. <laughs> no cost prestige. We can rebuild prestige fairly easily. Well, it goes down anyway, so there's not much point worrying about it. Okay, we've lost the trade dispute. We'll call our diplomat from Lithuania then. Our guy almost done. Investment. Oh, Lithuanian conquest of Riga against Riga Bohemian and the Livonian Order. So we're gonna have to go to war with, with our allies, the Livonian Order. That's just fantastic. I guess things are just decided. Yeah, let's get our maintenance up. Is that a winnable war? Probably is. We're going for Riga. Alright. We might send our mercs in. 
if we get a chance. Now our money won't be so good, but it's a fact of life. We've got our fleet sailing. We lost one of our key allies though, so now we we'll only have Lithuania. But I guess we'll just stick with Lithuania and try and keep them going. We're at war with the Teutonic Order as well. No. We are at war with Bohemia though. They're relatively strong. I guess it's Poland on our side? This is a big war. We've got quite a few ships. I think we should be able to take them though. We try and choke them in this in the Gulf of Riga. Oh, so our allies are infighting basically. It's just fantastic. Just the sort of thing we need to see at this point in time. Build another constable. Okay, so the 7,000 man force can go help in this war. Nope. We can't get there because Moscow wouldn't give us the right to travel. Mm. I guess our assistance isn't really required in this war at all. Go back to Stockholm with our main force. Well, our fleet's helping out, I guess. Ah, oh, we've got a new tech. Diplomatic. Useful. Build a trade depot. Still haven't reached the next levels. We'll be level 9 for the ships. But I think we'll probably have to build new ones. I'm going to invest in our cardinal. Look, it steals after it now, so our chances are declining. Because I don't have cogs, I can't actually help that much in these uh, conflicts. So for now, oh. With the backing of the members of the Holy Roman Empire, the Emperor's backed the call for rights reform. Yeah, so the Emperor can eventually unite all of the Holy Roman Empire territories if he completes enough of these uh, reforms. See, it, this gives him a boost and a member's boost, but later on they mostly just give boost to the Emperor. So, non-members who hold Imperial territory can now be attacked by the Emperor. I don't think we hold any Imperial territory, but we can quickly check. Uh, although I did unselect that particular one. Yeah, I don't think I hold any Imperial territory. Yeah. So you see these sort of yellow ones are owned by people outside. And so he, the Emperor, who at the moment I guess is Austria, yeah, has CV. You see how the Emperor also tends to pick up lots of territories inside of places? That's going to be a common theme. So Austria is getting quite powerful here. So that's another potential blob nation. Sometimes it's uh, Burgundy does it, but this time it's like it's Austria. Yeah. Hmm. Well, we don't need to worry about that because I have no intention of pushing into into Imperial territory myself. And Lithuania is far away enough that I don't think it will be attacked. So no, no cause for alarm. Yet. I say. How's that going? 94%? We've almost done it. I guess we can bring down our, our military spending on our army. almost done. Ninety-eight. I can build another improvement. So what else have we got? Trade depot. That's pretty good. Yeah, we'll probably want that. 
I converted the heretics of Neva. Fantastic. Which makes that province more secure, it looks like. So local trade power, I guess we want that for Stockholm, maybe? Yeah, I guess we'll give it to Stockholm. Gives 3.3... I have no idea what any of this stuff really means. 3.3 .3 trading power? If anyone understands this, feel free to explain. I mean, I guess... Yeah, Danzig must be contributing a lot to the Baltic. But not much I can do about that. Yeah, so I guess Stockholm for Trading Depot. When we get a chance. I don't know what many people who choose to play on the uh, terrain mode because it, it's a bit unclear. Like, I can't really tell. Well, I guess they've got the border marks on it, but still, it's quite tricky to tell where your land is. Plenty will be useful if we ever get the range. I like the way it shows you the prevailing winds, which gives you a good idea of how far you can actually colonise. Oh, making money from the National Bank. If only things were still like that today. Okay, Trade Depot for Stockholm. Seems like it wants us to build another thing somewhere. Oh, can you only have one trade depot? Oh no, you can't have more. Oh, we finally got a new technology. Military technology, fantastic. Which means that our infantry has been upgraded, I think. Let's see. Ooh. Military tab, men at arms. So I think these are just plain better than our current ones. So these the other units are all outdated now. So the old ones were one, two, and one, two. But these guys are 2 4 1. They're not as good uh, defending, actually. But uh, I'll do for now. In the next phase, we'll get upgrades for all three, which will be really good. Keeping our military tech pretty high at the moment. So we're on 9 military. What are our neighbours at? 7, 8, 7, 7. So we've, we've actually got the best military tech at the moment in our region which is very good for us build another temple I guess celebrate I think the mercs don't yeah the mercs don't upgrade so these guys are like an outdated unit we have now so we might want to start uh, declining some of them We order some more, maybe uh, from Skane. And Smarland. And Vastagotland. So we ordered three and only dismissed two. But that's okay, we'll sort that out in a minute or two. Our mighty fleet just lies off the coast of Riga, blockading the ports, protecting our trade. It's peace for now. The three looks like it's going to win eventually. I guess they'll be our permanent allies. Although they are orthodox apparently. I'd prefer it if they were Catholic, to be honest. Hmm. But I guess I'll eventually be Protestant, so everyone's going to hate us anyway. Whoa, I didn't see that. Scotland's been basically wiped out by England. Wow. Well, England's getting strong, and their trade power will obviously be vast. And their fleet will probably be strong as well, so we'll need to deal with that. Guess we could recruit some troops at the other end of the... Uh, of the Imperium. Your 
Bear has been running around town in the most unchristian fa fashion. Oh dear. Is my air a girl? It can't be right. But Fre Frederick von Wichelbach. No, that's not me. Ulrika, I see. That's the problem. Alright. Interesting. Oh well, for now we're just helping the uh, Lithuanians in their little war. They want this port. They're still unhappy with me. I guess we could recruit, it's best to recruit our troops in the border regions, I guess. Because they do take a certain percentage off the, uh, off the province's productivity. Got rid of those mercs. So we're building up a new national army place the one we uh, we burnt out in all those previous wars. If we hire new mercs then I think they will be the upgraded version of the units probably. Which is good. So we could declare war on uh, on Norway to take Jamatland, which is the bit they've taken out of us. They are allied with Denmark and Moscovy. Brunswick and Utrecht, they're not so good. We could take Denmark at the moment. But we can invest in ideas still. National Bank, that's okay. Why is that one so much cheaper? Maybe your second ideas cost more. I'm not sure. We do have a big inflation problem at the moment though, so we might save that until inflation is starting to go up. A farm estate could be built. Requires grain. It costs 400 gold, which is a lot. Might be worth building. Do we have anywhere which produces grain? Not sure which does this tell us what provinces actually produce? No. I can't remember how you, so it's is there a way to quickly check that? Oh we get grain in Stockholm. So I guess there we could build the uh farm estate. For four hundred. That could be worth making. Oh we got peace. I guess it will repair itself over like the entire game. And our trade company is pretty good. So we only have one in the province, but that's not really relevant. I guess we should probably build something more uh, immediately useful though. Austria's at war with Munster, who cares? Not our problem. Trade Depot might be nice. Where should we build it? Maybe off to Gotland? Just strengthening our trade while we wait for this war to end. Europe is the sort of game where you end up having a fair amount of waiting. Got some time here for our manpower to rebuild as well. 
I think our current quest is to actually collect money though, isn't it? We could do that. How much do we need to gain? 230. We could wait for that. Get writers. That's a, is that isn't that actually a, uh, a Swedish unit a writer? Hmm. Well, eventually this war will be over. got the Hansa and Lithuania now. Lithuania is probably too far away to help. The Hansa are close enough to help fight the uh, the Danes. But I guess we'll have to declare war when their fleet's in a position to help. Hansa are currently, I think, helping Lithuania in this little war. Which is fair enough. Still got the like, worst general ever. We'll have to replace him at some point. I mean, seriously, he was awful. As long as we can arrive in a situation where we have a vastly superior force, anyway, I guess it doesn't matter that much. Got a pretty average admiral and a terrible general. Could make our ruler general, but there's not much point in that. Come on, guys. Surrender. You're going to lose the war. Hmm. Local ship repair. That might be useful. I guess we'll put that in Skane because that's where our fleet's normally based. might do with upgrading our forts at some point as well. Probably neither. It's the best one to go for. Most likely to be attacked. Yeah, our contribution to this war has been fairly minimal. But I guess that's to be expected. Wait for something to happen. Making pretty decent money now. Oh. Got two pretenders, oh dear. Got a new queen. She's trying to deal with this rebel force. Should be able to handle it. Oh dear. So has our rule new leader got any skills? Not really. Time to deal with these rebels. Might as well just march straight for them. Starting this conflict with us in the middle of a war probably isn't the best for them, but I guess you know, they're free to make their own mistakes. Our eager of accepted peace. There we go. Go us. Anti piracy act. We've wiped out the rebels. Better relations over time. Well, that sounds good. Royal marriage from Lithuania. Yeah. They're our ally. And then we'll regather our army. We might want to push for that war with uh, Denmark actually. Their military tech's still behind ours. It still is. Might be a good time. Our new leader needs to build up her legitimacy. 
by a war. In which case, we might take the National Bank idea. Although we've almost got administrative tech, actually. We should probably just get that. How's Denmark's fleet looking? Actually, it's probably worth checking. Six. Six carracks. Wow, okay, they've upgraded. What's this? That's the dock I'm building. That's an uh, okay move. We'll wait for our army to get back south, then we'll uh, wage war on Norway. I think we should be able to win it. Does anyone else h hate uh, hate the Danes? Who are the rivals of, of Denmark? Does anybody know? The Hansa, it's Tonic Order. Wow. I think they just fought them anyway, so that will have to wait. They're marching into our territory now. Alright, that's it. This means war. Actually, who, who is Norway allied with? Oh, still with Moscovy. Norway, Brunswick and Utrecht is a beatable force. We'll call our willing allies. And no one's actually going to help us, it looks like. We'll ask for... Halland, I guess? That seat to fl uh, fleet to sea, <laughs> sea to fleet. <laughs> Our forces have suffered casualties. Apparently, it's not ideal. Okay, so it's war. Guess we'll see who backs them. I think Norway are obliged to. Yeah, we've got a few guys to fight. But I think we can defeat their their fleet, which is good. Don't want to have to face that army. Uh, mighty warships engaging here. It's a pity the hands didn't help me, because they were in a good position to do so. We'll let them have military access, just in case they want to fight the Danes. So we want that little engagement. I don't think they can land too many troops in our territory. I guess we'll recruit a little more infantry to take her land. We should be able to beat this army despite having the world's worst general. Old Os Oscar the Incompetent. I think they really should add levelling up to the generals in this game. That would really help help a lot. Oh well. He's done it anyway. Glorious victory. So we'll go for Axis and, and Agdar or something. Or maybe we'll try and separate the two nations. Though it, means it meant we could declare war on Denmark without having to fight Moscovy, which is definitely a plus. Pity our fleet can't be repaired here. Oh, everything's on the go in Sweden at the moment. What, is the supply low in this province or something? It says supply limit 27. Should be okay. They're going to treat off somewhere, but they'll be back. Oh, we've teched up. Excellent. 
progress. Suffrage and Bishop, what's, what's this? What was... Missionary strength plus 1%, appears to have no cost. Suffrage and Bishops, oh, that decreases our tax, we don't want that. Money comes first for, for the great empire of Sweden. That army's going to be back at some point, so we need, we need to deal with it. We'll have a few guys to siege Halland soon. Of course, we'll have the classic situation where uh, we can't blockade the port because our fleet has to stay in the Orsund. That's the big fleet. Oh, that's Denmark. Oh, not Denmark, Norway. So that's fine. It's a good thing Denmark's fleet and Norway's fleet weren't together when we struck. Or that would have been disastrous. That's well, got quite quite a decent garrison. We're still making money though. They're building a new army. Military reform. Ulrika. Oh, for God's sake. Stability here. We can reform the army and the navy, which is pretty good. And then I guess we should pay to bring our stability back up to avoid a rebellion. If we can afford it. We can't afford it yet. We only have 11 power available and it costs 150. Oh dear. We're sieging Halland for now. These armies are all heading north to siege us somewhere. Come on, let me take this place out. So this is our second war with Denmark, a war of reclamation. Tend to take Halland back. Hopefully, a bit of territory from uh, from old Norway. And I'll rat it. Probably need quite a high war score to make those demands, though. Let's see how much it's actually going to cost. So, if we demanded, oh, we, we can't list the other places yet. Well, we'll see. Hopefully we can get some money as well. Lots of stuff going on. Denmark 16k would be a big problem for us, but the fleet does keep annoying. Though the combined fleet of Denmark and its allies, if they had been brought together, would have been able to beat us, I reckon. Just about. Especially as they probably have a better general than me. Taking a very long time. They're probably going to capture that place before we capture this one. Or that plan before, before Akashus, I should say, or something like that. Oh well. No, it looks like we'll get Akashus first, actually, but not Haaland. So we'll have to head up there after we take this one. We're still making money, even though we're in a big war, which is always a good thing. Guess we could work on our diplomatic relations. Always want to keep Lithuania on side. Guess we could give the hands a work over as well. Because we're not going to ask for peace for a little while. We could build something, but don't really need any of those things at the moment. Might want to save for mercs in case things go horribly, horribly wrong. Well, they've got actually, it's actually a big army up there now, 14k. Okay, won the Siege of Akshas.
which is good. But it hasn't contributed much to our war score. Housing land by Norway and our land by Norway are both costing us a lot. Be tempted to move our fleet down. Support uh, to take out the force up in. Uh, yeah, maybe we need to split the fleet. High risk. How many ships do they have? Two. In the whole area. Maybe we'll dispatch a squadron of, of barks to handle it. It's a high risk move here. They are our faster ships. There we go. Our strike force is ready. Led by the Veltwiss. We'll see if the enemy fleets come for us while we're at sea. Oh, I think we've got them. I guess we'll probably want to recruit a Merc unit. Cavalry? Oh, that's hugely expensive. I guess just some ch crappy infantry, just to make sure we have a big advantage against the army, because our general's almost certainly worse than his. So we won the Western Sea of a land battle. We can probably pop back to Skane for repairs then. There we go, it's a successful operation. Zagumeni? done a good job. So we'll have 17 against 14, should be winnable, I think. Even with uh, the world's worst general at the helm. Our war score's still not that good. I guess because they control her land, but we'll soon control it, so... Probably shouldn't get carried away. We have got cannon and we don't have cannon. I don't know if that's a, a big deal or not. Let our ships repair. There we go. Repaired squadron of ships. Means our other ships can go back and repair, I guess. And then we'll, we can pull back if they pull out some more ships. Ooh, that battle is pretty close actually. I think we're going to lose it. You know? Wow, that's devastating. I blame the terrible general. Even though I didn't give him like the best troops. Oh no, we just won it. Just. Very barely. We really need to get a better general. I hope that guy dies soon. We won the Siege of Haland, which helps. Means our force can move over to Blacking. I guess this force can move to. Hmm. Well, we'll just move south, recuperate. I suppose. That was a tight battle. We haven't really got enough manpower to keep fighting these. So I guess we can move 14k to the sea and the 8k to the southern Baltic. To help, uh, to help capture Blacking a bit faster. So we send this force over to Adgar. We're still making income. We can always recruit more mercs if need be, as long as our income's still good. Thankfully, our national bonus to uh, mercenary costs is, is fantastically useful for us. Okay, our relationship with the Hamza have been improved. Okay, 
What's this? Our port up here is being blockaded again. Looks like their fleet is coming down. Maybe. Is it? Oh yeah, looks like it is. Better keep our fleet together then. Yeah, they're running for it now. Which is good. Still doing okay. I think things are under control. Now the war score swung back in our favour. Our war exhaustion is a bit high. Stability is a bit low. But other than that, we're alright. We'll probably deal with that stability. What does it cost to get rid of war exhaustion again? Diplomatic points. No, that's not so bad. Yeah, we can bring that down. Got uh, Denmark uh, fairly blockaded actually. Oh god, we're going to lose this battle. And then we managed to just win that one as well. I'm guessing it's our superior infantry units are allowing us to prevail in these engagements. Otherwise, I don't know what, what's allowing us to do it. I guess we'll hire some more mercs. Even though they're lower quality units. We are winning the battles, it's just that they seem to be wearing us down faster than we're wearing them down, and now we're running out of men. So what can we demand? Lacking in Holland? Probably not going to accept that. What can we demand from... Uh, we demand from Jamatland. Why can't we demand uh, Akashis? Because it's their capital. We don't give us Jamatland yet. At any rate, just rebuild our force down here. They'll be back. We are sieging though, so it's not the end of the world. Build an armory to get a quick boost to manpower. Hmm. Yeah, they're going to siege siege the north again by looks of it. Managed to maintain a pretty big force, and I'm having trouble dealing with them. I still blame our general, though. He's, he's definitely one of the worst generals I've ever seen. Austria, declare war Cologne. I guess they're just basically doing a unification. Bit by bit. So there's not anything we could do about that. Even if we were in a position to fight them, our units wouldn't be able to fight them, so. I don't know why our war score isn't higher. We we're occupying uh, one of their capitals and we control her land. It's a harsh business. So, where's their army going to be fighting us? Unhappiness amongst the clergy. Uh, I guess we c should just ignore their demands. our current situation. It's actually looking okay, I think. I wonder what decides who your enemies are. Are they coming to view us as a rival? Quite a few. Well, we shall see what we can claim. 
guess we could blockade Jerusalem while we're waiting. Got a new heir to the throne, Carl. So hopefully we have the defensive advantage. Okay, I think they are coming for us. Well, hmm. I guess we'll just hire, hire some, some mercs again. So they might siege. Yeah, they're going to siege first. And that's fine, we can wait for that. Cancel one of the mercs. Save this one in reserve, I suppose. If we had the Blecking Force as well, together we should be able to deal with the Norweg Norwegian army again. Well, I guess they could continue the blockade there. Gonna last very long though. Oh, well, we won that siege. Oh, one of our local governors used authority to tax increase the tax base. It's excellent. Okay, they can siege Borslan. Then we can combine these armies for an attack on Axius, I guess. Even how strange. Let's move this force over. And then I guess that I don't know which force I got selected. I assume I got the big one selected. Which will move over to Varmland. Recuperate. And then we'll recuperate this army over here. So it's bigger than that guy's army. That annoying guy with his 2 4 2 leader. Oh, I've upgraded our ships. So now we can get some in improved quality boats. The Carrack and the Carval. I think our current ones will stay as the old ones, so we will have to actually build new ones. Unfortunately, it does also appear to increase the costs, but it's not a problem for us at the moment. Come on, Norway, give in. What's the point in fighting us? Aren't you just wasting resources? Allen and Blacking. We could see what Norway will give us at the moment. Diplomacy, super peace. Jamatland apparently requires 12. I don't know what, what level we have at the moment. We'll pause there for now.